اوكي سو خلنا نشوف لكشر فور التوكس مين اه so what does the security risk assessment preparation talk about um we have the team introduction uh, we already read that we have the team preparation and introduction so we have the team introduction so we have the team and we have to look into the business mission mission analysis the critical systems identification, assets, threats, and controls. So, the team introduction is introducing the security risk assessment team to the customer. And the organization can get the contact information and credentials of individual team members Typically, an introductory letter is sent to the organization and an introductory letter will contain the points of contact for all team members, reference to the statement of work, which defines the threats, assets, controls, and tasks of the risk assessment. It has the start and end dates, the data requests from the customer, for example, we request the system diagram, policies, procedures, previous assessments, and assess the other requirements for on-site assessment. So there's desks, phones, and physical and logical access, on-site point of contact. Pre-assessment briefing. It can help to set the expectations of the organizations. It helps to listen to their concerns and adjust the assessment approach accordingly. It should address the introduction. So it introduces the team members, assessment objective, schedule of the on-site assessment, what the organization should expect, any information that team needs to know, like access procedures, possible architectural changes, plans, additional security controls. Now we have to obtain also uh, proper permissions. So we have to uh, obtain permissions before gathering the data so we mu must get proper authorization and it uh, especially for activities involving the monitoring of user communication and access to information systems if monitoring of user communication is required the team must ensure that they do not violate any privacy laws and regulations. And the organization must have existing policies regarding this issue. Accessing information systems can be tricky as it requires written permission by the system owner. And there could be multiple owners for a single system. We have a scope of permission. Uh, organizations should not be asked to give permission for access to everything at all times. It should be specific for specific time, for specific things, for systems, and for a specific purpose. It should include the IP addresses and phone numbers to be included in the test. And the type of testing should also be described. The time window is typically one week. The security risk assessment team should also get multiple types of accounts to access the information systems. Business mission review. 
so عنا بال preparation step the business mission review we have to look at the business mission objectives and critical systems and this is to assess the risks to an organization so the business mission is the reason the organization exists and we can identify it by asking who is the customer what does the organization offer and how does the how is the organization different to its competitors so the security need will depend on the business mission so if it is um, high quality provider then we have a high security if we have a cost leader wait la اه يعني هون بالهيلث والميديكال فيلد بيكون عندنا سنسيتيف كاستمرز فهاي البزنس ميشن اليمنت فحيكون عندنا هاي سكيورتي نيد طيب how to get the business mission information we can find it online we can find it by asking or using the letters from the ceo or the proposed mission statement the assessment should try to obtain public information website yani it should be approved by the customer okay identifying the critical systems لانه عندنا ال critical systems ب preparation خلينا نشوف نراجع ايش عندنا so عندنا ال critical systems business mission team assets threats controls so احنا هلا في ال identifying critical systems we have to find uh, the critical systems within the scope So critical systems are assets, mission, data procedures, and controls, and data owners. Some overlap may exist. So we have uh, systems, an interconnected set of information resources on the same day. شو هالتعريف سيستم يعني؟ اوكي سو سامبل كريتيكال سيستم ايدنتيفيكيشن عندنا الايميل سيرفيسز الاونر هو الدايركتور اوف اي تي ذا ديتا از ذا بيرسونال كومباني كونفدنشال كومباني سنسيتيف Authorized users are the employees and contractors. The boundary of resources is the email server, email client, and email archive. So where were we? To determine the criticality, we need to... Uh, determine how the information systems uh, support the business objectives okay so approaches for determining the criticality of systems we have um, we find the information through the business continuity planning or we create information on a high level or we classify critical systems based on available standards such as the NIST
if we have a large organization it's very um, it's very difficult so what we do is we um, divide we divide everything so that it's easier to manage and draw results so security risk assessment is divided into systems that belong to different business units اوكي هلا احنا بدنا نشوف النست سيستم كلاسيفيكيشن وي هاف ذا بروتكشن ريكويرمنت مثلا في عندنا السكيورتي الكونفيدنشاليتي انتجريتي او افيلابيلتي ففي عندنا التصنيف الكلاسيفيكيشن فروم هاي ميديم اور لو فاللو requires less than 100k um, of loss causes uh, minor loss أما ال high it causes um, over 1 million loss هلا for step 2 in the NIST system classification in to determine the mission criticality so is it critical important or supportive so if it's critical then uh, it, it provides immediate business failure if lost intermediate uh, important is that it provides some of the services so it has some of the impact but the impact is for long term and the supportive is the applications that would only cause loss of business efficiency and effectiveness step three is to define critical systems we have the general support system okay and these have a based on highest criticality of control which shares common functionality of any application or ma uh, it resides on the gss Oh, okay, and the GSS consists of the major applications and also the applications. The major applications are the applications that have at least uh, one of the protection requirements rated medium or high. So, كيف نحدد ال protection requirement? نرجع على step 1 ونشوف is it classified as high or low if we have some requirement uh, either high or medium then it's considered a major application Applications is the use of information resource to satisfy a specific set of user requirements. Well, she or no, we classify the system in three steps using the nest. أول شي بنختار إيش ال protection requirement اللي بتحتاجها uh, high medium و low من ال confidentiality integrity and availability بعدين in step 2 بنشوف إيش ال mission criticality so if it's a critical mission that means it, uh, the business depends highly on it okay 
بعدين منحدد ال ال critical systems uh, if it's uh, an application عادية ولا it's a general support system يعني it's uh, a, a, a something that supports the business and it re relies on it okay هلا we want to identify assets for assets um, Uh, the level of analysis used will be depending on the level of rigor chosen in the in the first phase. So we we require um, okay. So we try to list all the intangible assets. Okay. So asset criticality uh, classification. How to classify the assets? We can our issue find the uh, uh, the information elsewhere, يعني مثلا online or whatever, or we then we can create asset classification information, مثلا uh, sensitive, protected or public information, مثلا uh, okay هاي ال ال information. و determine asset criticality uh, using the NIST standard زي ال critical important supportive okay so the general general asset list is a really long list we have so many assets an asset could be information could be equipment could be personal like staff could be infrastructure could be facilities or could be inventory okay طيب how do we value the asset so we value the asset besides security risk assessments asset valuation may also be performed within the organization compliance continue contingency planning insurance, legal claims, records, management, budgeting, information classification, and critical assignment, criticality assignment. طيب. In security risk assessment, asset valuation is used to determine critical systems and the impact on the organization if an asset is lost or compromised. طيب what are the approaches to uh, value an asset اولا it could be a qualitative يعني uh, rank based زي high medium low or it could be quantitative زي we give it a dollar value or income value so خلنا نشوف the the first approach which is the binary approach So the binary is like it's up, it's it's uh, protected or not? Yes, no. So.